Okay guys, so we're out on a ride here. I'm gonna go do some off-roading. I'm gonna try to do this as a vlog. The last ride, we were out all day. Couldn't really do it as a vlog. That's why I posted all those small clips. Which I guess is good to do because not everybody's looking for 20, 30 minute boring vlogs. So we'll have a selection of shorter stuff for people to watch. On some high ground here. This area that we're in has some of the highest points above sea level in the province of Ontario isn't saying that much but it's just a fact okay we ha I had a horse growing up then we ate it Yeah, it was pretty good. It was funny. Well, I was a kid, maybe eight, nine, ten years old, and uh, it got put down like late fall. And then at Christmas time, we were at somebody's house, and uh, we we're having like beef on a bun. And my dad's like, "How's your meat, Marco?" I'm like, "It's good, Dad." And he says, "That's your horse." Yeah. Remember to clean the lens periodically because it's. So dusty. Notice in some videos I've made that I've gone on some rides and uh, actually videotaped stuff and never used the footage because it just footage wasn't any good or the lens was so dusty you can't see shit or anything. The road is getting a little less and less traveled. It's pretty rough, pretty bumpy in sections, lots of washout. Although it looks like there's still camps here. Beautiful swamp. Nice. Here. I know those uh, the ATVers use this, right? Yeah. Well, it's one of those, uh, what do you call these trails? Trans Canada thing? No, I don't know, but it's some sort of Ontario trail thing, eh? Oh, it shows it right there. Right, yeah, you are here. Yeah, I showed up before, yeah, we're just going up there. Yeah. It looks like the road gets better. Also, I was wondering about that one. It's starting to get narrower and narrower. Well, it must go hook up with the Tower Mountain Trail at some point. Well, because, yeah, our camp our camp is right here. So, yeah, Tower Mountain is, like, over here. Yeah, see, I'm wondering if it's... Oh, aren't we going to Shabuqua? Yeah, we'll go to Shabuqua. And then from there, where are we going to go? Well, because... Because we're, we're almost there, probably. <clears throat> yeah, we could go even further down that railway line, see if there's anything interesting on okay, it. Okay, let's do that, then. Now we're on the snowmobile trail. Probably not going to be particularly technical other than there's probably a fair bit of washout to deal with. Oh wow, that's cool. out because it's, it's sand it's not gravel it's actual sand
You all right? Fuck! My leg's stuck here. Oh, son of a bitch! Your delivers. Oh, huh. Wow. I think my shirt's any bigger. I can't do it. So it might have burned your jacket or something? Yeah. Yeah. Like these, we were like 17, 18. I put them to 20. It was pretty good through the sand and shit. But I didn't expect that. Oh. All right. <coughs> Moving on. They could be really deep. Well, those ones back there have some problems. Uh, yeah. I imagine if you go along the side, you can see that. Ah, oh, shit. I'm just gonna walk along there and...
<laughs> I'm always worried at the edges that there's gonna be ridges, you know what I mean? Can we stop and let my bike cool down a bit? I saw this bridge in this river in uh, one of Rob Farrow's videos there. What's that? Uh, no, I'm good right now. That's funny, I didn't think it would come out right beside the place. Yeah. <laughs> so like past here, there are some roads that go, and theoretically we could get to the, the railway line from there. So? Yeah, I've seen them. Um, one's called Swamp Road, I think. All right, so we gassed up and now we're looking for a way to get on the uh, old Grand Trunk Railway. The further in we get here, the less and less maintained it's getting. It's going to be more like a trail than a road. So I wonder... I wonder if I can see on my phone on Google Maps where the rail line is. Because it can't be too far away. Okay, I see us here. Yeah, I got it's showing where we are. So, yeah, so flat road is just like looks like a few hundred meters in through there. So we have to get over there somehow. That probably hooks up and we can get to flat. Yeah, see, we yeah, goes yeah, to Finnmark road. road. Yeah, so we'd go through the tunnel. I was hoping we could get on them without having to go through the tunnel. Like, well, we might be able to go that way. I mean, we're going to run alongside of it. Okay, so we're going to try and get to the old Grand Trunk Railway line. So there's this road and between the old railway line, there's actually a set of currently being used railway tracks so I know there's I've seen some service 
crossings that are actually, I guess, just, just for uh, the railway company. There's gates down and if we can find one of those, we can get to the other side of it. But we might have to bushwhack and uh, actually cross a set of tracks, which I've done once before and uh, kind of takes two people to do it because especially the wheel wheelbase on this bike kind of fit right in between the tracks. <laughs> like somebody actually lives out here. Definitely middle of nowhere. Oh, looks like it's just a shack. Somebody lived out here doing something. Let's go the other way. Well, well, let's check this a little bit. But I hate riding through tall grass like this. Don't know what you're riding over and what's coming up. So that doesn't go anywhere. A little trail right there. What's that? Yeah, there's a creek here. We ain't getting across. No, I don't think so. Wow. Well, yeah. Well, we tried to find a crossing there, but uh, definitely no go. Maybe. Uh, we were extreme off-roaders that attempt it. Well, we've been up there before. I know where we could go. Uh, a couple places we could check out that we've never been. here. Concentrating, not vlogging. Yeah, that was deep. Holy shit.
fuck off. I forgot to bring my blade. Oh, this is definitely much more open. This is much more open. No more logs to deal with. No more logs to deal with. They're all wet, I moved them out of the way. Oh, it's just my rear wheel. I'm getting hot. Got a jacket on even though it's a jacket designed to be cooler. Not generating any breeze through here. Oh, there's another friggin' tree. Off.
Good enough. Okay, that was an ordeal getting over that log. I'm freaking tired. I'm freaking hot as freaking hell. Once we get out of this freaking trail, we're heading home. Hopefully, we have no more obstacles to deal with. We're going right. Okay, I'm freaking so freaking hot. We're going home out on the highway. Thanks for watching. <laughs>